Hey, how's everybody doing? It's Matt, and I'm going to be doing a, another beer review for you guys today. If I can find my uh, bottle opener. Hold on a second. Did they just hate that? Yeah, good thing my keys were around. Sorry about the delay. <laughs> but before I open it, of course, um, we're going to be doing a, a dogfish head today. I haven't done one of those in a while. Now this is a new dogfish head. This is the Apra Hop. And the name should kind of give you an idea of what it is. A little explanation here. A serious India, so it's an IPA, brewed with real apricots. Now I'm not really a big apricot fan, so I'm expecting something bitter and slightly sweet, but we're gonna see what happens when we uh, or when I drink it, should I say. Alright. Oh wow, it does have, ooh, has some serious apricot smell coming out of there. I'm going to do it out of the old Coca-Cola glass again. Now, hmm, pouring this beer, <laughs> I don't want to say pouring it out looks like urine, but it kind of has that urine-y look to it. Uh, pardon me. Yeah, sorry, phone. Alright, all right, let's look at this. You got a nice dark color, coppery, very coppery color. Uh, looks almost like a Coke in the old Coke glass, uh, something like, or maybe even a, a little lighter than a root beer. So, let's see. It's, it's got a nice apricot smell. I like the smell of apricots, I guess I don't necessarily like the taste of them. That is actually very good, and I don't like IPAs. I'm not, I'm not a fan of IPAs at all. To me, they're just too bitter for me. But this has an excellent balance of the fruitiness of the apricot and the bitterness of the IPA. So it's like a perfect balance. Mm. And at the end, it has like, it's like a soury taste. It's like when you mix the bitter with the sweet, you get this soury kind of aftertaste after you're drinking it and everything like that. Which is actually a really good balance. I like that sweet, sweet, bitter, and sour type of taste. With the whole mix, it's like a lime. It tastes like a limey, very limey tasting beer. Well, there isn't really anything on here extra to tell you about. Uh, the only extra thing is that this is 7% uh, alcohol by volume. So not really high, but you know, high enough to kind of like, you know, get you happy a little bit. And this beer isn't all the way, it isn't chilly cold or anything like that. It's just right temperature that you would probably want to drink this beer at. I keep getting that limey taste, which I love. I love that. It's kind of like sour. It's like you're, like you squeeze like a lemon or a lime in here. Now, I, I don't know if this is like a, a spring uh, brew by them per se, but it, it, it's definitely some type of beer that you would want to have on like a hot summer day or something like that. It's got that kind of mellowness of a Corona with the hoppiness of like any regular IPA. Like a dog, it's like a Corona mash with a dogfish head, a regular brew, maybe like a like a like a sixty minute or something like that. Only not as sweet. <coughs> let's uh, let's finish that off. Mm, that was thirsty today. <coughs> mm, but that mm, that was good. Very tasty, very subtle apricot taste with the bitterness and the sweet of it making it kind of a, like a sour taste at the end. I thought that was a great combination. I just picked this up at the store, brand new. You can find this at the store for about two bucks a bottle. Well worth the two dollars, I might say. And uh, definitely check this one out. Once, once again, this is Dogfish Head Apra Hop. Uh, at any line or fine local retailer, I'm sure. And hope you guys enjoyed, and look out for another review coming soon.